All right, we have our Chilean guest, Rhodey, and his snake up against Buffer from Mars and his Lucas. Rhodey, among others, defeated Key to get to the spot, and uh, Buffin just had a very close match with Arrow on stream. So, see how these two rise to the occasion here in winter semis. It's hard to avoid snake grabs sometimes. <laughs> I just saw three grabs in a row right there for Rhodey on Muffin. Both folks trying to feel each other out center stage. Ooh, dash attack right there from Rhodey. Really able to get the advantage. Tries to use the key to just secure the edge guard, but Muffin's able to PK Thunder 2 his way out of that situ situation. D tilt. Muffin takes care of the C4. Right there and is able to start pressing advantage before a trade. Parry right there from Rhodey. Neither character's really been able to get that much of an advantage in this match. Oh! Another grab attempt from Rhodey, but not enough damage to land that infamous down throw to up tilt kill. Muffin taking care of trying to stay. Try to keep his distance, but Rhodey's really getting a lot of mileage out of his grab game right now. Nikita edge guard attempt, but oh man, <laughs> Muffin not only is able to snuff that out, but uses PK Thunder 2 to get backstage and get stage advantage. Oh, down down smash is able to secure that stock though, no matter how hard and how deft Muffin tried to return back to stage. So Rhodey takes that stock. At 157, still plenty of plenty of health for Big Body Snake to keep it going, trying to extend his lead, but not for too long actually. As Muffin's able to get a grab to up throw to confirm for the kill, even with PS2's uh, fairly large blast zone size off the top. Roy's really making good use of his down air too, and a lot of these neutral trades, but. Oh. Speaking of down, that was a down tilt sequence from Muffin to try and press advantage. Try to Zare. Oh, he PK freezes in the wrong direction. Rody just turns around and grabs him again. <laughs> Rody flying up high with a up the escape. Oh, jab sequence. Pressing into his advantage with Bear. Nikita. Oh, and the deaf Nikita kill from Rody. He's just one stock away from taking this first game in Winter Semis from Muffin from Mars. Down air attempt again, but Muffin's able to reverse it with a Zare and then. Another tilt attempt. Baseball bat. Can Muffin bring this back? Oh. Not for long. Both players trade advantage at ledge. Down air is great, but it's not enough to knock Snake out of his up B on a cipher. Another bear attempt from Rhodey. He's also using that bear very well in this matchup. Keeping his space. Trying to look for another opportunity to punish more of Muffin's options. Oh, but Muffin's able to catch him with the PK freeze. Another PK freeze attempt. Follow Rhodey's able to mash out of that, but he's not able to mash out of that fair. And now we're back, now we're down to the last stock each. Uh, Muffin's only got about 40% on him, so this could be close. Trading aerials and another Nikita edge guard, but Muffin's able to change up, mix up his recovery habits. Tries to do a B reverse there in the um, down B, but doesn't work. Oh! Follows up with a dash attack. Muffin's trying to pressure him on shield, but Rory's able to roll out back out of the lane and nail him. Up smash attempt. Oh, he's not able to. Muffin had it red. C4 drop. The Muffin saw him. Oh, it's trading ground and moves right there. Dash attack. Staying very close and very hectic right now. Muffin's definitely in kill percentages, but one good edge guard, one good option here, and he went, oh, C4 drop from like way up top where no one could see where it was coming. Man, it's just like, ah. Uh, it's like, yeah, uh, when you fight Snake, you have to have eyes everywhere, and uh, Rody takes game one. I wonder if there's any uh, well-known Lucases in Chile where Rhodey's from. 
didn't seem to have that much difficulty with uh, um, navigating a lot of uh, Muffin's options. Muffin starting off as game two, pressing the advantage right now. Another fair. Tries to catch with a PK fire on landing, but Rory's able to dodge it. Takes a little bit more punish here, but Rory is able to get a grab in and change the momentum. Both competitors are now center stage. Oh, wow, what a what an option there from Muffin to just abuse the spacing. Another grab. Muffin rolls back out. Both, <laughs> both gentlemen missing a couple of options there. Muffin trying to go for a Zay there, maybe overextending, getting hit from it, but oh man, it almost lands a PK freeze attempt. Muffin trying to keep it to the ground. Rory moving back and forth, B reversing. Maybe setting up a ledge, att ledge guard attempt here. Throws a grenade up just in case Muffin tries to run past him. Oh, the back throw is to secure the first dock for Muffin. He has Rody a little flummoxed here right now, but. With 78%, he's definitely in snake kill percentage. So, C4 drop off stage, try to force an option. But Muffin isn't falling for it. Jab right there. He's now off stage. Oh, the bear! Wow, what a raw bear right there from uh, Rody Snake. Oh, he tries to get the M smash read. That was great, but Muffin was able to react in time. PK Thunder 2 attempt. Both players going for some of the home run attempts here. No pun intended with, with just a baseball bat, but. Now trading some more spaced options, but Rody's able to get another grab in. Seems to have that really well thought out. And oh man, Lucas eats the you know, infamous up tilt that Snake can just bust down almost any circumstance. PK Freeze attempt off of the uh, iframes, but isn't able to get it. He is able to use it to force. Rory to make some kind of movement or option to then subsequently punish right now. He's having some success with it. Muffin's keep making sure to keep himself just out of grab range from Rody, using PK fire to, to space. Rody is kind of caught between ret retreating and getting punished for being aggressive. There we go, another punishment for being aggressive, PK fire. Oh, and just as he's about to bust out Nikita, eats another PK fire, but he's able to recover back to stage because as everyone knows, Snake is a big boy. Led, ledge trap situation here for Brody, but both characters trade options right there at the ledge. Muffins was just enough to take the stock. Muffin, very close. One stock away from taking us to uh, game three. Um, best. 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 My apologies, folks. It is best of five. <laughs> But taking the advantage here at game two. Throw attempt here. Oh man, <laughs> the key hit Potch was just long enough to hit Muffin when he got, got from stage from ledge. Oh, Muffin with the back throw is enough. No, not enough at 75 to kill Snake. Brody recovers high. Jab attempt. Muffin holding stage. Oh, wow! <laughs> Muffin, just knowing exactly where to place that down smash hitbox and absolutely makes Rody eat it to even things up at one game apiece here at Winter Semis. <laughs> wow. That was, that was something. I hope everybody out there is enjoying this set as much as I am. I love that we can have locals here in Southern California and have visiting players come in from all over the world as he chats full of folks from Chile trying to root on their boy, Rody. As we get started here, Game 3, Winter Semis. Alright, Game 3, Battlefield. AKA Snake's Playground. <laughs> so clearly, definitely a counter pick from uh, Rody. Nice parry there from Muffin, able to capitalize on it, but oh man, Rody actually nails the F smash to Bear. And 
now he's pushing Muffin off stage. Oh, goes for the Barbarian Slice. Fair, but Muffin's able to PK Thunder 2 his way back on the stage and nearly putting Rhodey in some trouble right there. <laughs> back to mid stage for both players. Muffin putting Rhodey in the tilt blender there for a minute there. Chasing him, Fair and Zare. Another PK freeze attempt, but Rhodey made some pay. PK Thunder near ledge. They will land and grab it. Neutral get up. Avoid the ledge trap slightly, but. Oh, wow. Rhodey almost nailed him with a C4 drop right there. Dash attack from Snake. Rhodey using uh, a little bit of a bait there going off stage, because he did go off stage for fair earlier and was able to use up tilt there to secure the first stop. Damn. But Muffin right now is trying to keep Rhodey con contained to the sides of the stage. Use a PDA fire to try to deal with grenades from uh, long distance. Oh man, reads that jump into Uppy with his own fair for the kill. Only 22 damage on Muffin before the end of that stock, so he clearly was able to get that first stock a little bit clean. Oh, tries to read the um, aerial get up by Snake on the platform, but pays for it because Snake's down air seems to be hard to challenge. Up air there from Rhodey. Muffin sneaks in the PK freeze attempt and grabs the grenade on his way out. And he doesn't even eat the grenade damage. Oh, man, what a sequence for Muffin right there. Oh, wow. Rhodey just snuck to drop the C4 on the top platform. And Muffin, maybe from where the camera was, didn't see him drop it and just ate that. Muffin on his last stock here in game three. Rhodey's only at 70% here on the second stock. Muffin's got quite a ways to go to bring this back, but I'm sure he's facing Versa at this before. Oh, eats another down air from Rhodey Snake. Tries to zero him. Lands on shield that fair and follows it up with another up air. Rhodey recovers high. Throws another grenade. He's just dashing all over the place and just trying to force an option from Muffin to punish, but. Muffin's throwing out the safe options right there with PK fire to get some space. Maybe try to get the kill right there. He's close to getting the kill off the next PK fire, I'll tell you that much. Even Snake can't survive that high enough percents. Oh, he parries the aerial attempt from Muffin. Rory, Rory. Oh man, and the key attempt here to complete the edge guard. Ah, oh, but the hitbox on PK Thunder 2 extends long enough for him to avoid it. Another ledge trap, or edge guard opportunity, and Rhodey patiently nails him with a down smash to take Muffin's last stock and two stock him on his way to winning game three here in Winter Semis. <sighs> How's it going, chat? Hope you guys are enjoying this very close game and winter semi is right here on hat. I'll probably stick through maybe one more set of commentary here tonight. I hope you guys have enjoyed it so far. And here we go. Game four. We're going to FD. So Muffin maybe trying to see if removing all the other platforms might give him a bit more advantage from uh, Snake's um, projectile and set play. Both players trading position early, but Muffin coming away with the better of these exchanges. He's able to use that Slightly close to mid range. <laughs> Maybe a little team bad there for Rowdy, but I, it was probably just a little bit of crouch movement. Uh, oh, dash attack there to interrupt Muffin's advanced state. Another dash attack using that well. Tries to nail the down air, but Muffin's able to recover very quickly at a disadvantage right there. Oh, drops the grenade just close enough to the PK fire attempt that blows up in his face. Uses PK freeze, though, to draw out. Rody from stage and nails on the fair, but Rody recovers very high. PK Thunder 2 attempt. Shielded through by Rody, who is ready for it. Nails him with the down air. But Muffin gets back on the stage and 
Land the grab. Fair attempt. And the star KO for Muffin. Taking an early lead here in game four. Jab attempt. PD Thunder attempt. Wow, he's able to really put on a little bit of damage there. Another set of jabs. Muffin seems to be really taking advantage of Rory's movements to punish him. Rory doesn't seem to necessarily be committed to too uh, significant moves right now. P Thunder 2 again. Oh man, nearly gets hit by the uh, F Smash there. That was an excellent read by Rody, but Muffin's able to air dodge out of it. C4 drop, miss. Rory trying to secure this first stock here. Oh, but he eats a back throw for his aggression. Earlier, Rody was making excellent use of his grabs. Right now, Muffin just keeping him out. But he isn't able to keep him out of that bear. <laughs> Jab attempt to try to extend this ledge trap here. Oh, but he goes off stage just the wrong time to eat a PK Thunder and then a follow up fair. Rody recovering high as Snakes are want to do. B reverses, drops that C4. But just as soon as he tries to jump out of land, he eats another fair. Lucas Fair, I tell you, it's a. Insanely powerful move. Uh, Big Thunder 2 attempt to return back to stage. He bounces off the tech, but lands right, <laughs> right where Rody could read it for an up tilt, man. Snake. Killer character. Fair attempt right here. Rody on his last stock game four. Muffin's really trying to bring this to a tight and compelling game five right now. Oh man, use the tilt to get a couple of down tilts and berry grab. Dash attack. He's got a Rody on the ropes right now, but Rody is able to recover deep. He's not letting himself stay in disadvantage for too long, not letting himself get too frustrated. Now has the advantage, but isn't able to land that down air right off the ledge. Zaire to fair attempt here for Muffin. We're back to neutral, more or less. But Muffin definitely playing like a man who knows he has a stock lead advantage right now. Oh! manages to react to the fair the F smash attempts. <laughs> and he's definitely just letting Rody just have his way with recovery. Oh my god. Falls up three high recoveries with punishes and ends it with the baseball F smash. Wow. Muffin. Impressive in extending this to game five. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. You, I feel like Snake automatically bans FD pretty much uniformly, so I'm kind of surprised we went there for game four. Let's see where we're going to go for game five. There has to be a winner, and we're going to Smashville. Muffin getting an early percentage advantage here. Just throwing options, putting pressure on Rody's shield. PK fire attempt. Muffin's movement is almost indicative that he's kind of starting to figure out the range he wants to stay at against Rody. He's playing so patiently right now, too. He's not letting Rody get in for any of his grabs, the grabs that were working game one, game two a lot. And he's just punishing him for his options. Oh, man, with the read, the PK freeze, the PK fire. Muffin's running away with this. He almost has a zero to death right now. PK freeze attempt. Oh, he goes, oh, that was a stylish up smash attempt. Well, look at that. Muffin is just like, oh, man, you're going to come to me, huh? Oh, Bear finally putting some percentage on Muffin by Rody. Definitely was to stand for getting zero to death on the first stock of game five. Turn around F smash there from, or F, F tilt from uh, Rody Snake. Rody filling himself a little bit right now with a little bit of advantage. Down throw to F tilt. Bear. Maybe seeing if. Uh, Muffin's recovery attempts are going to come short. Ruff Muffin's able to get past the Nikita and the C4 right there. Both players now kind of trading options in neutral. Trading um, space projectiles, more or less. But Rory's able to... Oh, was that an SD? I don't know what just happened there. Did Muffin not... Oh, man, Muffin wasn't able to uh, recover with PK Thunder. Wow. After Muffin almost zero to death, Rody, that is one hell of a bad way to lose momentum in this game five. 
And now Rory's even grabbing the, the landing of the grabs, lands another grab right there, tries to down smash to emphasize the kill, but there you go, Muffin, even in it back up. He's gonna try to recover as best as he can from that SD, or uh, I'm not exactly sure what in the world happened there at the end of his first stock, but we're back to an even game right now here on Smash Bros. Game 5, Winter Semis. Both players trying to trade aerials right now. You know, Muffin is there landing right there, trying to follow up with the PK fire, but gets right in the way of a roadie F tilt. Grab and back throw to a PK freeze attempt. Muffin just letting Rody recover high, not necessarily trying to pursue him in that attempt. Oh, lands the PK freeze, but isn't able to do much more than make his uh, recovery safe. Lands another PK fire, but in the midst of that PK freeze attempt, eats a bear from Rody's snake. Rody recovering high yet again, trying to get himself in a really good position to maybe lay some grenades and another C4, maneuver around Muffin's options, get a grab. Nikita up high tries to mix up the direction of it, but Muffin's able to read that. He's able to nullify it. Muffin and uh, Rody are very close to percent, almost identical right now. Can Muffin secure the stock right now? And oh, he does. Wow. Both players trade, but Muffin's attack is stronger and takes the stock here in game five. Rody is on his last winner's stock right now. But lands the down tilt. It's still not enough. Ro M Muffin's able to recover just well enough for disadvantage. But oh man, oh he he uses PK Thunder two twice to get onto the small platform of Smashville. Wow. He avoided like Rody's patient attempt to push him for it. He's able to tack on about like thirty more before finally succumbing to Rody's bear. PK fire attempt there for Muffin. Last stock for both gentlemen here in Winterside semis. Two parries in a row, one for each player. His air attempt. Oh, he's able to trip him up and grab him and throw him off stage, try to get him. Maybe DI incorrectly. Maybe get a little bit of advanced state, but Rody is able to get back in the swing of things. Grab. Oh, man. You know Rody's going to be looking for that down throw to up tilt confirm if he gets enough. Oh, my lord! This is the raw up tilt instead! <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> Rody, moving on to uh, Winterside's final with that just, like, I was thinking, oh, he'll, like, try to tack on, like, 50% more or something and look for down throw to up, smash, up tilt. And instead, he just throws it right as soon as I finish saying it. Oh, man. Uh, that was a tough beat for Muffin. He really, really pushed Rody there to game five. Tough set. Yeah, sure. So um, I'm actually going to go ahead and post myself on Twitter, or post my Twitter in chat. <laughs>